Hey guys, in this video I will be demonstrating a single application of the trapezoidal rule, which is a numerical methods integration technique that estimates the function as a first order polynomial and calculates the area under that line. So let's go ahead and get started with this example that I've made. This is my given function and my bounds for integration. And I'm only going to have one segment in which I need to integrate over. So the first thing I need to do is make two graphs. And so I've graphed the function here in MATLAB so that it's nice and pretty for you. And then I've just drawn out a basic sketch of a line graph down here. And I'm going to use this as like a tool to help me with the integration process. The next thing I need to do is define A, B, N, and H. So A is my lower bound of integration, and in this case, it's zero. And then B is my upper bound, and that is 1.4. N is the total number of segments that I'm integrating over, and in this case, it was given to me as just one. And then H is my step size, or how big each segment is. And that is calculated using this equation over here, boxed in, in blue. And it's essentially the upper bound minus the lower bound divided by how many segments we have. So in this case, our step size is 1.4 minus 0 divided by 1. And that gives us 1.4. The third thing I need to do is plot and identify key points. So the key points in this problem are only going to be our upper bound and our lower bound, since we only have one segment. So my lower bound on both graphs is right here at zero. My upper bound is right here at 1.4. And since we only have one segment, this entire distance is going to be the single segment that we integrate over. My fourth step is to apply the trapezoidal rule over each segment. And since we only have one segment, this is a great example um, of the single trapezoidal function. So I'm going to use this equation. Oh, that's a really crooked line. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to use this equation right here. And so first I just wanna show you real quick on the graph what we're actually doing. So I'm going to take and draw a straight line connecting my x-axis to my function. And I'm attempting to do this on the writing tablet with a ruler, so it may take me a minute. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Okay. And then the trapezoidal rule estimates the function as a straight line. So I'm going to draw a straight line connecting both of these points. It's close enough. And so then when we use this integration formula, we are basically calculating the area under this trapezoid. And for this problem, we're saying that this is our estimate for the area under the blue curve. So 
So labeling everything was step three. And then step four is actually performing the iteration. So we have our upper bound minus our lower bound. So we have 1.4 minus zero times the quantity of the function evaluated at our lower bound, or zero, plus the function evaluated at our upper bound, which will be 1.4, all divided by two. And when I um, calculate all of these values, I get that my estimate is 7.11379. And so this right here is the answer to my problem. This is the estimate of the area under the blue curve using a single application of the trapezoidal rule. So that's it. I hope this video helped you guys better understand a single application of the trapezoidal rule.